it's alligator nesting season again. Uh, we've got about 15 females out here, all with nests. They're all fired up, very protective mothers. So it's actually our job as the keepers to get in there and remove those eggs. Now the whole process started around about three months ago, coming into springtime, they started to mate uh, and over the last few weeks the females have developed bellies full of eggs and they've made these big beautiful nests as you can see behind us. So what we've got to do now is we've actually got to go into the enclosure, we've got to top door rope the mum, pull her off the actual nest and then we've got to dive onto her, restrain her, tie her jaws up so it makes it a lot safer for us keepers. Two, three. Watch your legs there with it. You right? Yeah. She's strong. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna take it off. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Just watch that open mouth there, mate. Just uncover them. Looks like a big clutch. As Tim actually pulls the eggs out of the nest, he's got to keep them nice and tight in that same position that they came out of the nest. And it's critical because a little baby inside of that egg that's starting to develop, his embryo is attached to the egg. If we tip that, we're going to roll that egg and drown the embryo. Reptiles, because they're stationary like this and aren't moved by the parents, the membrane attaches to the uh, interior of the shell. So if you take an egg and roll it, um, you, you kill the, the young inside. It's like a chicken egg. So at this point in time when it's been laid, they've been fertilised. Uh, but there is no growth and development inside yet. The incubation process has to start that. So at the moment, if you were to crack the egg, it would look just like an, in, an infertile chicken egg. So we've actually pulled out 51 eggs out of this nest, which is massive. Normally we only get anywhere between 35 to 40, so this is a really big success. That's good. That's what we're actually going to do now is we will artificially incubate the eggs, and then once they hatch, we will send them off to other zoos and that helps us keep a nice large insurance population of American alligators here in Australia.